Hello everyone, this is Levan from Kahu Masasar and today I'm gonna review Easy Presso's latest hand grinder, the J Max. First of all, a small disclosure. I am not paid for this review and company did not ask me to review this product. So those are my honest feedback based on my user experience. Easypresso is a Taiwanese company and they manufacture hand grinders for every budget. The entry level is the Q-series. The Espresso based grinders are the JX and JX Pro. And they also have the K-Pro and K-Plus with the innovative external adjustment setting tile which is also used on the J-Max. And they also have JE Plus with Italian mill burst but it's not easy to find it everywhere. So J-Max is an improvement over JX and the JX Pro. It may be considered as the flagship of the J-Series. First of all, what's in the box? The J-Max comes with a nice carrying case and inside the carrying case you have all the accessories required for a hand grinder. What are they? First one is the air blower. Second one is the two side brush. And the third one is a silicone band that can improve the grip of your hand grinder. So those are all packed in the case and it can be considered as a travel friendly hand grinder with a nice accessory case. I like the general look of this grinder. It looks really premium. The materials are high quality. And I also like the color. JMAX comes in space gray color, which is really good. What I could change could be only two things. First one is the material on the lid. So this is a plastic lid here, but you can see your fingerprints. Maybe they could have used another material here, a better one. And the other one is the, there is a big easy presto logo here in the grip area. The material in the grip area is rubber. It improves the grip of the hand grinder. But I would prefer a smaller logo here and maybe wood on this area. They will all improve the premium look of this grinder. Those are minor things, but maybe company considers this in the later products. Let's talk about the changes over JX and JX Pro. First thing is the longer handle. The longer arm provides you a better leverage while grinding. And the wooden knob here is also at its optimum. So it's very easy to grind with this grinder. The magnetic jar. JMAX uses a magnetic jar similar to the K Plus and you can easily install this one and take off by turning clockwise or counterclockwise. Just a small warning here. If you are not used to using hand grinders with a magnetic jar, you can easily create a big mess because this may take off accidentally while using. Most of the users hold it from here, this area, from the jar area or put it between the knees. So you should not do it with this grinder. It takes some time to get used to, but after that it's very easy to use this magnetic jar. It's very easy to install and remove. Anti-static coating. So it's not written in company's webpage, but I believe there is an anti-static coating inside the jar because it's very easy to clean this jar and there is almost no retention inside the jar and around the corners. This is really a big improvement. Let's talk about the heart of this grinder. JMAX uses a 48 mm titanium coated burr. It's a stainless steel conical burr. Its geometry is slightly different than JX and JX Pro, but the biggest difference is this one is coated, which means you will have a longer life and it will be more durable. The major change on the JMAX is the external adjustment system, which is similar to the K-Series. This one is equipped with the external adjustment with nine numbers and between each number there are 10 clicks, but more importantly, each click moves the burr 8.8 .8 microns only. So this is almost closer to a stepless grinder. I believe this has the super fine adjustment system after the Kinu M47 which makes it great for the espresso dialing process. There is a small dial indicator here, which shows you what click you are at. Actually, this helps you to remember which rotation you are at. Because with the JMAX, you cannot use all the grind settings in one rotation, but you need to use the third or fourth rotation instead. 
So for espresso, for example, I use 1.5, 1.4, which means one complete rotation and the number four or five. For prover, you may use 2.4 or 2.5, which means two complete rotation and the number four or five. Or for French press, you may use the 3.5, which means three complete rotation and the number five. But it's very easy to set it to zero and to reset it. Just let's do it right now. So I will set it to zero now. Now it's at the point zero. And for espresso, I will use 1.5. So it's that easy. Now it's set for espresso. If you know what you click you are at. Now if you want to brew a pour over, I know I need to use the 2.5, right? So let's set it to 2.5. One more rotation and now you are at 2.5. It's very easy. You can do it in seconds. Let's talk about how fast this grinder is. It takes around 1 to 1.5 seconds per grams for prover and 2 to 2.5 seconds for espresso. Which means if you want to grind 20 grams coffee for prover, it will take you around 25-30 seconds at most 35. And if you want to use a double shot espresso 18 grams by using the 1.5 setting, it will take you around 30, 35, maybe 40 seconds to grind for espresso. It's really fast and consistent. The most important thing is the grind quality and how it performs on espresso and prover. Let's start with espresso first. JMAX uses a super fine adjustment system, which means you can easily use it with every commercial espresso machine in the market. I used my tests on Lelit Bianca and also Pico Press, so I could be able to dial in easily, I could easily find the switch support and I can grind double shot espresso in 40 seconds. This is amazing. You can use JMAX with every espresso machines in the market, that's for sure. What about pro over performance? Even Easy Presto advertised JMAX as an espresso grinder, I think this is a hybrid grinder just like K-series but with a great range of espresso. This is due to the super fine adjustment capability, which is 8.8 .8 microns per click. It's like a stepless grinder. Does it work for prover? The answer is yes. I tested JMAX with all the brewers I had and the results are satisfactory. Actually, I was able to drink great cup of coffees with all the brewers by using the JMAX. Before talking about sifter test results, I need to tell you this. They are not enough to judge a grinder. They are good data, but it's not enough to judge a grinder just by looking at the sifter test results. So I typically use 400 microns at the bottom and 1000 microns at the top and the results are as, as expected. JMAX produces just a bit more fines compared to the other top notch grinders, but this is barely noticeable. For example, if Comandante produces like 8-9% fines, this one is producing 11-12% fines, which is totally acceptable. And in between particles are quite similar. This one also produces like 56 to 61-62% in between particles, which is quite similar to the other top-notch grinders. Every grinder has its own flavor characteristics and JMAX gives you rounder, more severe cups with less pronounced acidity. So this is the flavor profile of JMAX as much as I experienced. I am not a Q grader, but this is my experience based on the other grinders. This is similar to somewhat Kino. The conclusion. Is this the flagship of the J-series and who should buy it? Yes, this is the flagship of the J-series. I would definitely recommend this over the JX and JX Pro if your budget allows. And I can also recommend this one over K Plus and K Pro if you are more focused on the espresso side. This is an hybrid grinder but with an espresso focus. You may not feel the grinding quality over JX but the usage is very easy and external mechanism makes switching between the settings very easily and it provides you more room for espresso. So if your budget allows and if you are considering JX, JX Pro or K-Series for espresso, I can definitely recommend you the JMAX. This will do a better job for you. If you are up to Prover mainly, then there are other options in the market. You may consider those options, but just to mention that top-notch grinders are all expensive. And in the grinder world, what you pay is mostly what you get. I hope you liked the review. You can write your comments and questions and you can also contact me from the Instagram. 
So what do you think? How did you find the J-Max? I do appreciate if you also like the video, this really supports. Thank you for watching.